Welcome to the fifth of the Chennai Pass Forward podcasts, which looks at the heritage of the city. Today, we look at the history of the Ripon Buildings, headquarters of the Chennai Corporation. Our city's municipal body is one of the world's oldest, having been founded on September 29, 1688. In the 17th and 18th centuries, the corporation, like several other institutions of the city, existed within Fort St George and even within that precinct it moved to several places and we do know that it existed for some time in North Street and later for some time in St Thomas Street in the 19th century it moved into Georgetown to Erebaluchetti Street where its headquarters was designed by the famous architect William Pockson but by the early 20th century it was believed that this building had far outlived its useful existence it was then decided that a new grand edifice for the corporation of madras ought to be built on an edge of the people's park in 1908 land was identified next to victoria public hall the earl of minto the then viceroy of india laid the foundation stone on december 11 1909 The edifice was designed by the government architect GST Harris and its supervision was done by James R Coates then with the government of Madras. The construction was by the contractor P Loganath Mudaliyar in association with Ramsey and Company. Bricks for the structure came from the kilns owned by T Nambermal Chetty and his partner namely Patabi Ramarao in Aminji Kare. The quantities of bricks required were so much that the place came to be permanently known as Chulai Maiden. Completed at a cost of 7 lakh 50 thousand rupees, Ripon Buildings, named after an earlier Viceroy of India, was declared open on November 26, 1913 by the then Viceroy Lord Hardinge of Penshurst. An account of the building written a year after its inauguration and while some furnishings and fittings were still to be added gives its original floor plan all the rooms are light and airy and every provision has been made for the comfort and convenience of the large staff of assistants who are housed here the ground floor contains 16 rooms which are occupied by the revenue department the first floor has 22 apartments wherein the president of the corporation and the employees of the general and health departments carry out their duties while the second story has accommodation for the council chamber and for the offices of the works department uncoat the definitive book on the built heritage of our city madras the architectural heritage by k kalpana and frank schiffer has this to say on the building this majestic neo classical structure with a pristine white exterior measures 81 meters by 41 meters with a total floor area over 20000 square meters comprising three floors and organized around two internal courtyards that are separated by a grand wooden staircase all rooms are accessed from verandas that either surround the courtyards or from those on the exterior a well proportioned and elaborately decorated facade with a series of composite columns and pilasters supports semicircular arches at the ground and first floors and rectangular openings at the uppermost floor string courses fluted cornices a rusticated wall face in the lowermost floor highly decorated attached columns with composite columns and bellied balusters in the parapets and handrails are some of the other features built of brick with lime and plastered with the same material this building rests on a deep well foundation that goes 17 meters below the ground and is roofed with madras terrace at all levels the central tower is a definitive feature complementing as it does the towers of neighboring victoria public hall and the central station rising to 132 feet it has a clock with four dials each of 8 feet diameter this clock originally rang every hour with the westminster chimes the same tune as that of the big ben in london the indian flag flies from the top of the pediment of the corporation besides it flies the mayor's flag which bears his insignia This which is the corporation's emblem has undergone changes in keeping with the times. The original which bore an effigy of St George slaying a dragon below which was a pennant bearing an embossed image of Ripon Buildings was changed in 1955. 
the new coat of arms depicts ripen buildings on top of a shield that bears a tiger representing the cholas the fish representing the pandyas and a bow and arrow representing the cheras together with a sail ship depicting the original village of madras the council chamber is one of the outstanding features of the building rectangular in shape it is accessed by tall french windows with glass panels that have the corporation's emblem etched on them the mayor's chair is on a raised dais and beside it is the commissioner's chair this has the old coat of arms of madras carved on it the mayoral desk with supports for the mace is a work of art to the left of the mayor's seat on a separate dais is the deputy mayor's seat the councillors are arranged to the left and right of the mayor above are galleries for the press visitors and corporation officials a photograph of mahatma gandhi looks on the proceedings from above the council meets here once every month you were listening to a podcast by past forward